Welcome here. We're making an interview with, with Darius. He's one of our Romanian clients. Darius, tell us uh, a little bit about you, how, what made you join our program, how you found us. So first of all, I'm Darius. I'm from Romania, as already said. As a background, I come from medical school. I finished uh, physical therapy and I always knew that I kind of wanted more. I think right before the pandemic hit and the lockdown, I met Sergio at a party and we followed each other on Instagram. And that's how I kind of find out about the program in the first place. And through the years, I kept looking over what he was sharing. Obviously, I tried to find out more online. In the end, I gave up and actually made the courage to ask. Okay, so what what made you choose a uh, COD? Because there's a lot of other other ways to do it. Like um, people talk about affiliate, uh, drop shipping, selling digital products, everything else. What what made you choose COD? So like cash and inventory. What got me into COD was obviously yeah. the results that you guys were posting online of other success clients. It kind of sounded surreal. How long have you been in uh, in the program for? About like how many months? About four or five months. Okay. When did you start to actually push well, the I, pedal with it? I started selling in 16th of March. Before that, okay. I tested. Yeah, so before uh, that, I tested like, a few more products. So it's like almost two and a half months of selling. Something like roughly. that. Something like that. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Without the info that you guys provided, I think it would have been almost 100% impossible for me to start it by myself. I mean, you get some information online for free, but it's just that, like you can't do much with it, you know, cause you guys also provide the contacts and all the information, actually all the steps to start it and scale it from zero to hero, you know, <laughs> I started researching a bit more after I had my very first call with you because I thought the program was a bit too expensive. How, how many times did you make the program's money back? Like more than 10 times already. So what the fuck are we talking about? So yeah, it's yeah. it's pretty much like that's that's usually what what people are like. The ones that join, they're like that. It's just pennies on the dollar. If you're actually going yeah. to actually I mean, apply the steps, so we're at this point. Really but glad. Thank congrats. you. Congrats! You've you've been a let's say a silent client for a while and been like killing it. You took all the steps and they worked for you. So yeah, which which part of the program did you like most, or like what was best for you? Like what do you think put you ahead? First of all, I think that some sort I'm the type of person that needs a little push from the back to actually start something. And that's where you guys came in. The thing that I enjoy the most is selling <laughs> and seeing that cash flow coming in, you know. It was fairly easy. It could have been easier if I listened to you guys more. Okay. Uh, I'm still trying to do that. It's, it's still hard for me to like uh, deal with all the steps you guys uh, offer me and teach me. How much are you running per day, like in the sales? What's your programs right now? <laughs> in sales, like on average, I do around 2,000 euros a day right now. Okay, so roughly 60k a month already. Hopefully, yeah. Yeah, how much did you have uh, last month? Because we just started uh, June, so not really. A lot. Yeah, last month I ended it around uh, 25,000. The beginning yeah. was not a great, actually on the 1st of May, I had zero sales because it was not working great, great even the days before. Okay. Oh yeah. So you started mid, oh yeah. As you said, 16th of March and then you're, you're right now spiking. So you should keep yeah. it that way, brother. Uh, right now I have three winners, but I'm only selling one a whole lot. Oh, so you're, oh shit. So you're already at like 1k euros today. Yeah. So yeah this is. Point. From yesterday as you can probably see i only have like 52 orders <laughs> registered and i actually have uh, 62 real so, oh, okay. that... so then, yeah. how long did it take you to find the the first product to find your very first winner it's really important the mindset that you're going in with i started with a very wrong uh, mindset which uh, led me to like a rougher start because I, as uh, you said earlier, I was aiming for perfection in some sort of way. And I was uh, mostly looking for products that I was liking, not that... The market will love, yeah. Yeah, exactly. 
But after I changed my mind a little bit and I had a few, a few more calls with you guys, I was actually able to understand that it's more important what the market lo wants and loves more yeah. than like, what you actually want necessarily. And after that, after I understood that the very first product that I tested it was a winner. But wow. uh, how yeah. many did, did you test before that? There's just, just before that, like with the wrong mindset, I tested three products. All still One. 24%, even if you include the bad three ones. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah. So I mean, we have to include it. To 25%, it's still fucking great. Yeah. 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 And then how did I, how did testing go? Because you, you said you changed your mindset. So I'm really curious. How many did you test after and right now? And uh, ran I like think after that. I tested for no three more products and two of them are winners. So wait, so you tested okay, so you tested three wrong products. Three then more. Then you tested one more that was a winner, and then three more. After the win yeah, three more. And so it's like so you've got three winners had... out of how many out of seven. seven. Yeah. Okay, even with the first three ones, oh shit. That's a great fucking ratio, forty three percent. Not bad, not gonna lie. And you kind of flexed on and said, oh, the three ones I tested like shit, and then I tested well, and then you said like 75%, which is, come on, come on, it's a, that's unfair <laughs> again. Like, oh, shit. It's unfair, but it's, it's the truth after all. Yeah, we sometimes do have calls with people, and they're like, how many do I need to test? And I'm like, usually, I don't know. It's, you can test one and make it work, or you can test five. They're not working, but you at all. shouldn't test five bad ones unless you're not actually following the steps. So, yeah, I, I do kind of get what you were saying because we did struggle with that in our own team. Our team was like, Oh, test everything, I'll test this and this and that and this and that. Why? Let's stick to the fucking basics. That's mm -hmm. what we're preaching to clients, and that's what we're actually teaching our team to do as well. Give me an idea how much money you made since you started. It's almost 56,000 euros. 56? 56 almost, yeah. Oh yeah, that's great. What about like inventory? How how do you, do you think it's hard to manage? What do you think about it? Like no, it's... a lot of people. Yeah, sorry, go. No, it's not hard at all. Like you just have to like follow your everyday sales, look every other day what what uh, what your inventory is. So if you have at least 18 days of sales in your inventory at your current Sales yeah, so rate, you're good to go. Yeah, right. Because okay. Usually, you're gonna get your next uh, shipment earlier than two and a half weeks, but you have to take like a risk margin. What would you tell to people that would that are on the fence of joining the program or have seen the program or like your honest, full, a hundred percent honest opinion? Like, give me shit if it, like, if there's shit to give. No, like a hundred percent honest opinion. Just like Nike says it, just do it. You're, you're not going to regret it. I personally I took a leap of faith with these guys and it paid it paid out, you know. It was one of the best decisions that I took with my life. Yeah. And I don't regret it at all. Like in the beginning, was it was not easy as neither anything else is. Okay. But uh, you have to be consistent with your work. You have to be consistent with uh, what they are telling you. And you're gonna succeed, a hundred percent. So the goal, yeah. hopefully, I'm gonna hit a million in sales by the end of this year. Okay, so I think it's possible. Like at the rate, really I'm. Like yeah. It's possible. No, it's definitely possible. Okay, how much profit? If... That's what. That's what matters. Like, how much profit do you want to make, or what? Like, let's go realistic. How much money or how much profit do you think you'll be making? Realistic. By the end of the year. <laughs> realistic, I'm going to say around 20, 30, even maybe even close to 40% as like, even 40%. Right now, I'm pulling consistent days with close to 40%. So, okay, so you're thinking I think you're it's gonna scale. doable. Yeah, it might dial down a bit, but still doable. Okay, so roughly, like, how much money? Because that's, that's what I care about, the number. How much per month yeah. in profits? Per month in profits, right now, I'm 
I'm considering for this month if I manage to keep the flow at the same rate or even greater, I'm still gonna say that at least 20,000 euros this month yeah, would be great, doable. at least. At yeah, least. yeah, it's really doable with, with the stats you, you were showing. You've already done like how much? Like, like four or five Somewhere K. around like five here already. Mm -hmm. So five, that... six days. Yeah, so should be done easily. The, yeah, the goal really... is at least uh, 100,000 a month. Okay. Which what is, now, now that I'm saying it, it's, <laughs> it's crazy. What it's crazy. Like, what do you think? Like, how did your perception change within like the last six months? Oh my you God. Just had, like, fucking crazy numbers. Like me five years ago, thinking about like 100K a month would be like. Impossible. Drug dealing money. Yeah. Lord, Not even that. I don't think like, you have to run the cartel to make that much. Yeah, obviously. But, yeah. but like, you would think like some fucking crazy shit. And then yeah. right now you're like 100k. I'm like, what the? That's big goals, but achievable. Yeah. So what do you achievable. think? How much did the money <laughs> perception change? Oh, what what on, goals like... did you have like one year ago? Because I'm curious about that. Uh, like before. Well, you... I still had great plans for my future even before, but and they are yeah, still put that. You've, the... done, you've done like physical, physical therapy. therapy. Is that how it's called? Physical therapy? Yeah. Okay, so what were your plans after that? Like, okay, I well, build your own studio, make how much a month? It was a long-term process because, first of all, I I was I should work in some place like as an employee to gain yeah, experience, get clientele and everything. And after that, let's say like 10 years from now, maybe start my very own business like in, on that uh, niche but even then after like 10 15 years of experience i would, would have never pulled this much revenue in like a whole year maybe Ten. that i'm pulling right now you know one month period brother we're glad we helped you we we proved we've proven again that the method works that cud is here to stay and it's still working do you see yourself running like because we said six six months and stuff like that do you see yourself running cod stores in like three to five years definitely i okay. i think i'm gonna run stores until the end of it until it's not gonna work anymore at all but by but, okay, so the, but yeah. by that time i'm gonna be rich enough to like retire <laughs> Glad you're a part of this program. I'm glad, glad you like well. what we're teaching. I'm really glad and congrats again that you're actually making money, profits, and scaling this up. So next interview will be when you've surpassed like I don't know, five hundred K, half a mil. Let's do it. Let's let's set an interview right. for like last end of year and then let's see your progress. Why not? So yeah, brother. Thanks for actually joining this interview. Thanks for having me. For well, thanks for getting me through it with the program and everything and uh, for the people that are watching just do it it's that simple yeah, you're not you gonna regret it. it take care brother right. have a great one bye, -bye. See you next time. bye.